Hey foodies, it's Deep Friday and I'm excited to share with you beaver tails. Nothing says anything more Canadian than having wonderful, chewy, savory, and sweet versions of beaver tails. So let's get right to it and look at the recipe. So you want to start by taking your warm milk and your warm water and combining that with your sugar and sprinkling your yeast on top. And I'm gonna let that sit until it's nice and frothy. So you can see it's starting to get frothy and that tells us that the yeast is good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add all of our other ingredients. So that's all of our flour, our butter, melted butter, Salt, egg, and a little bit of vanilla. Add a bit of flavor. Now we're gonna mix all this up. Okay, look at that. It looks beautiful. Move that out of the way. So with most beaver tail recipes, when you're dealing with regular flour, you have to let it proof and rise and you have to punch it down to let the, uh, the elasticity of the dough form. But because we're dealing with gluten-free, we don't have to worry about that. No, oh, this feels so beautiful. This, so I'm gonna put a little bit of flour down on my surface. Nice oh, it's beautiful dough. Oh. So let's cut this into, I'm thinking six. There we go. Roll them each. Set those aside. Get my surface floured. I'm gonna pat them out just like that. Look at that. That looks like a beaver tail or an elephant ear, because I'm sure you've heard both terms. So I'm gonna do the rest of these. We're gonna get the oil going and then we're gonna deep fry them. Okay, so I've got my beaver tails, I've got them all set up on the side, all pressed out, and I'm ready to, to put them in the deep fryer. I preheated my oil to between 350 degrees Fahrenheit and 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to set that in there. Oh. So while this is cooking, you can decide, do you want to make these sweet beaver tails or do you want to make them savory beaver tails? I'm a little partial to having a little bit of garlic and oil on mine, so I've made up a, a garlic scape pesto and olive oil, and that's just grinding up some garlic scapes, or you could just do garlic, or you could go on the sweet side and do cinnamon and sugar, or you can drizzle chocolate sauce on them. There's any number of things that you can do with them. So I'm going to flip that over, get the other side golden brown. This looks beautiful. And make sure you keep an eye on the thermometer, making sure that it stays between 350 and 375. So these certainly don't take very long to cook. Look at that. That's the first one done. Oh, it's beautiful looking. I'm going to put another one in.
And so this one, I'm gonna brush with my garlic and oil. Oh, that smells so good. Flip it over into the other side. There we have it. Look at these beaver tails. They look amazing. Some, some of them look more in the shape of an elephant ear, and that's okay. So whatever your preference, you can call them beaver tails, elephant ears, or just plain good. I'm gonna dig into one of these and see just how yummy they really are. Mmm. 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 They're the perfect treat for a wonderful lunch. I know what I'm having for lunch. What are you having for lunch? Thanks for watching. I look forward to reading all of your comments and seeing you again. Take care.